Prince Harry has done first royal kiss and tell with virginity story, says expert. In his memoir Spare, Prince Harry details losing his virginity and royal expert Duncan Larkham has likened the story to a chapter in a Jilly Cooper novel due to its description. Prince Harry's surprising story about losing his virginity has seen him become the first royal to do a kiss and tell, an expert has claimed. In his bombshell memoir, Spare, Harry detailed how a mystery older woman took his virginity in a field and smacked my rump and sent me off to graze. It was later revealed that the older woman is Sasha Walpole with the two said to have got together in a field behind a busy Wiltshire pub in the summer of 2001, on Ms. Walpole's 19th birthday. The now 40-year-old said she was forced to speak out and share her side of the story after the Duke of Sussex wrote about their tryst in his memoir. And royal biographer and expert Duncan Larkham said this story by Harry was a first for the royal family. Appearing on True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, he explained, it was surprising in the book the way Harry talked about it like it all was some big joke and like a chapter of a Jilly Cooper novel. Isn't this the guy who's declared himself as a staunch feminist? It has to be one of the first times in modern royal history where the kiss and tell has been done by the royal, not by the member of the public. It's the exact other way around. His comments come after Sasha told The Sun, I don't understand why he went into such detail. He could have said that he lost his virginity and left it at that. He has done this to my privacy because I was going to keep my head down and not talk about it. If it wasn't in the book none of this would be happening. Meanwhile, the couple that owns the field where Harry lost his virginity have joked about how they could put up a blue plaque to commemorate the occasion. Anna Pitt Stanley and Dean Elwood, her partner, live in Splash Cottage, beside the site, which once belonged to the Vine Tree Inn. While Anna said everyone in the village was speaking about what had happened there, she didn't they would be setting up a gift shop selling memorabilia. Dean told The Sun Online that by the time they bought the cottage eight years ago, ownership of the field had been transferred to their property.